road, old chap. I'm Detective Lisa. And we are solving the case of the missing pastor. No, no, no. We're not doing that. We're going to solve the case of the missing cross. Nope, nope. There it is. We're going to solve the case of the empty tomb. All right, so today we're, I'm going to read a story, and I brought friends with me to help me figure it out, okay? Do you guys want magnifying glasses so you can figure out this mystery? The tomb is right there. See the, roll, the rock that's rolled away? You have to use your imagination. Those are, those, are the, those are the wrappings that were on Jesus when he was buried. Here, pass these out for me. Some people might have to share. You all are going to be investigators with me, okay? Here, you can have them. You're going to investigate, right? Okay. All right, here we go. The story begins very early in the morning on the first day of the week. Jesus had been crucified and buried. Mary Magdalene, one of Jesus' followers, went to the tomb where Jesus was buried. When she got there, she saw the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. She ran and found Peter and John. Peter and John raced to the tomb. John got there first. He looked into the tomb and saw the linen wrappings lying there. Then Peter arrived and went inside. He also noticed the linens that John had seen lying there. As he investigated further, he saw the cloth that had covered Jesus' head was folded, lying apart from the other wrappings. After Peter looked around for a few minutes, John joined him inside. Go inside there, guys. <laughs> when they were sure the tomb was empty, they left and went home. Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she looked inside the tomb and saw two angels sitting there. One of them was sitting at the head and the other at the foot where the body of Jesus had been lying. She answered. Then Mary turned and was about to leave when she saw someone standing. <laughs> standing behind me. Um... <laughs> But she did not recognize him. Woman, why are you crying? Jesus asked her. Sir, if you have taken my master away, tell me where he is so I can go to him. Mary, Jesus said. When Jesus spoke her name, Mary knew who he was. She turned to him and cried out, Teacher, don't cling to me. Jesus said. For I, I have not yet ascended to my father. Go and tell my brothers that you have seen me, and I am going to return to my father and your father, my God and your God. Mary found the disciples and told them, I have seen God, and he is going to ascend to his father and our father. Then she gave them the message that Jesus had told her. And that solves the case of the empty tomb. Big hand, big hand. So guys, you know what? It's Easter, and Jesus died on that cross right there, and then he was buried in that stone, and then he came back to life, and he went to heaven with, Jesus, with God. Isn't that cool? So cool. Can we all fold our hands? And Allison, can you collect those back up? Thank you. Fold our hands and bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for being our risen Lord. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.